We are back with everything you need to know about filing your taxes this year before that April deadline. For some Americans, though, it can be stressful and confusing. But don't worry, we've got you covered with tips on how to get organized and the changes that you need to keep an eye out for this year. Here to break it all down is our friend, Chief Tax Information Officer at Jackson Hewitt, Mark Stieber. Mark, first just say it's better than Christmas. What do you always say? Better than Christmas, Kwanzaa, and Hanukkah put together. 100 million people will start getting money on Monday. There you $3, go. $3,000 on average. You think about it that million. way. So one in no, three and four win. There you, you go. You don't get that at the lotto. Okay, I love it. See, I told you we'd make this fun. Um, is it too early? Oh, to it's start never too about early. It? In fact, it's the opposite of early. You're already late if you haven't already started with your plan of getting organized, finding your pro, have a date on the calendar. You're way late. You want to file early for three reasons. Really, file early, get your money. Don't have to be a financial analyst to know that makes sense. <laughs> File early, lock up your data. There's bad people out there, breaches and data thieves. File early, your stuff's locked, and that other person can't swoop in. And finally, file early, because if you owe, you still don't have to pay till April 15th. File and lock up your stuff, file, get your money, and file to know exactly what you owe. All right, there you go. So well, are there any changes, though, that we should think about this year? Right. Tax policy, it feels like... We were just talking before when we were in the break. There, I used to be able to do this and that, and now you can't because things change all the time. What's new this year? ton of changes this year. Statutory adjustments, things are up. Green credits are big this year. So if you bought an alternative fuel vehicle, if you did something mm. to your home, you know, you put in energy efficient stuff, look for credits there. But bigger than uh, tax changes, and I tell this to everybody, life changes. Reflect on your life. Got married, had a child, adopted a child. Those are pretty s standard. But did you start a side gig? Did you invest into some crypto? Are you taking care of your dependent parents? Do you have some going back to higher education and the list goes on and on so look to your life changes for bigger impacts than hmm. tax law changes interesting what about if you are filing for the first time what are your tips for somebody who's like what does any of this mean well don't simplify it and file on your smartphone on the bus ride in it's your single largest financial transaction and just because hmm. it's your first time doesn't mean it's not complicated you could have student loan interest you could have multiple w-2s you could have side gig activity income don't just go with a shortcut version if you're comfortable doing it yourself do your homework read up on it find a website that's got interesting tips and stuff but a pro in your pocket just to debunk some of those myths that your buddy at the bar told you probably a good idea too okay wow so don't just do it yourself that's good to know mm -hmm. um what should we be thinking about let's get way ahead let's talk 2025 what should we be doing throughout this year quickly to be in a good position for that oh, next year? To question. not feel the stress I'm kind of feeling right now. Great question. I'll simply say this. The tax system now is just so intertwined with society. It's a year-round event. If you just wait till tax day, even early tax day next Monday, that really discounts your opportunity to keep good records, keep good documents and receipts, keep aware of the tax impact on all the things that you do, from rental property to crypto to side gig, side hustles to Uber ride, share driving, all those things. The better records, the lower your taxes, the bigger your refund. But it's a year-round event. So mm. get a plan. It will lower your stress to just have a quarterly estimate or a quarterly uh, a a you know, analytics of what you're doing and just have a plan. The plan makes the stress go down the most. That is so true. Mark Sieber, we're going to make a plan. <laughs> Later. Right after Together. this. Together. Not sure if you knew that that was part of this. Thank you very much. Good to see you. Good to be here. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.